Alhamdulillah, Hilabil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bara habata fillah Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala he entitled a chapter called Bab Tayyib al-Kalam or Tayyib al-Kalam he titled a chapter the chapter of uh, good speech or excellent speech or righteous speech if you will وَقَالَ أَبُو هَرَيْرَةَ رضي الله تعالى عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الكلمة الطيبة صدقة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عن that a righteous word or a righteous statement uh, is a type of charity. So what we learn from this habit of Allah is the importance of having righteous speech and speaking good and saying words of encouragement and khair and tayyib. In the laha tayyib. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a tayyib and he accepts only tayyib. He only accepts goodness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from that goodness is a kalimat tayyib. Is something good, something that reminds you of Allah. Something that brings you closer to Allah. Something that protects you from evil. Something that reminds you of the harms of evil. Al-amr bi maruf and nahi al munkar this can be a kalimat al tayyib. This can be something righteous if it's done with a tongue. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned that it has different levels. Commanding the good and forbidding the evil has different levels. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Min ra'a minkum munkarin fali yughayruhu bi yad, fa in lam yistu'i fa bi lisanihi. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever sees a munkar, something evil, then change it with his hand. If he's unable to do so, change it with his tongue. And this can be a kalimat al -tayyib. Why? Because you're commanding the good. And you're forbidding the evil. And forbidding the evil also finds, falls under kalimat al -tayyib. And in this hadith that we're looking at now, the Prophet ﷺ said, A kalimat al -tayyib, sadaqah. He said that a kalimat al -tayyib, that speaking something, saying something righteous and good is a type of charity. And all of us need more good deeds. And all of us needs, need more charity. So it lets us know that sadaqah is not restricted to just uh, spending. But likewise, I can't even the babe. You know, good speech, saying something good, encouraging someone giving salams, all kind of things that fall under kalimat al -tayyib. And the opposite of that, as we know from many, many ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is evil speech, backbiting, slandering. And that by slandering and backbiting, those are some of the reasons that we receive punishment in the grave. And you only receive a punishment for something that is one of the major sins. If it's mentioned, that's one of the signs that something is a major sin, is that there's a punishment attached to it. The Prophet the Prophet was walking by two graves. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, and he said the inhabitants of the graves were two Jews. And he said, verily they're being punished. So this is some knowledge of the unseen that the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given him about this, what was going on in that grave. He said, verily they're being punished and they're being punished for something which the people don't think is great. And then he said, as for one of them, they didn't, 
used to, or he didn't used to uh, clean himself properly when he used the restroom, the Kroma Kamala. So very important for us as men especially to clean yourself properly and clean your garments properly when you go to the restroom. It's a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters, and, and especially the brothers. So as for one, is he didn't clean... He didn't clean himself from urine. You know, he wasn't careful. Either he wasn't careful and it splashed on his garments or he didn't make his thinja. He didn't wash himself at all anyway. So it could be either one. But regardless, this earned him the punishment of the grave. And as for the second one, he used to carry tales around the community. Uh, slander. Namima. So... And Namima Habitavillah, as Sheikh uh, uh, Ali Bassam, Rahmatullah Ali, Rahmatan Wasiya, he mentioned that Namima is to carry tales, you know, to get uh, information and, and spread it around the community with the intention to spread wickedness. So this could even come through when someone has unconfirmed speech and then they spread it around the community. Oh, I heard so-and-so. So-and-so said this. What so-and-so meant by this is, you know, spreading evil. And their intent is to spread evil. Their intent is to spread evil. وَعِيَادٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And what does it earn the people like this? It earns them the punishment of the grave, showing it's a major sin. When the kabair. And we ask that Allah protects us from it. And that's the opposite of what? كَلِمَةَ الطَّيْبِ and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad.